Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to play PUBG in Linux. So in usually in Windows we have a lot of emulators to play on and uh, in Linux we don't have anything. We just have Wine and Virtual Machines. So it's not very good for games. So I saw that Phoenix OS is very good and unlike OS we don't need to dual boot it. So in Linux we can easily have a live system without dual booting it. So I will show how to do that and just go for the browser. And type Phoenix OS. And the first link will be the phoenixos.com. And once you're on a download page, you can see the Phoenix OS version 3.6.1 based on Android 7.1. So like in Windows, we have exe file to install. And for Linux, we need to download the ISO image. So I've already downloaded it. You can choose from Google Drive or Megalink. I've already downloaded this uh, ISO file. And I'm gonna go to the path. And here it is and you just extract it once you extract you just go to the folder and you can see the lot of files here you just need to delete the trans EFE and I ISO, for ISO Linux files once you delete it you just go to the root folder and open the terminal and log in to your super user account and uh, create a directory called phoenix so make sure it is all small and once you refresh you can see there is a phoenix directory and you just go to the extracted folder you need to copy this files to the uh, Linux I mean sorry root user sorry uh, the Phoenix folder which you created so I'm gonna open the terminal lot of uh, operating system sorry a lot of distros have uh, ability to open as a you know, root user but I don't have in pop OS so let me go to the root user and copy all the files to the Phoenix So you can see I have copied all the files to the direct directory called Phoenix and it's been successfully copied. Let me check. Yeah, it's been successfully created. And you need to create two directories in Phoenix folder. Okay, DIR called data and data.img. So these are the files should be exist in the Phoenix folder, which should be in the root directory. We need to open the software center and type grub customizer. Okay. I've got the grub customizer here. So some distro doesn't have software center. I will leave the command to install grub customizer in the description. So let me install the grub customizer and type my password here. Once it's installed, let me open the grub customizer. Let me type my password. You can see there is a pop OS. If you have dual boot, it will be have windows. If you are going in a grub and you need to create, you can see this icon to create. Now you need to create a dummy because Usually grub will boot up uh, the first OS which will be there in the grub configuration. So we need to stop that configuration and we need to choose whether we should go into the main or host OS like pop OS 
or the Phoenix Oils. So I'll play, I'll type my name as D. You can type any name here. I'll type D or dummy. And in the type section, you choose other. And you can do, you have a bit sequence here. So you can do anything like, I will type like this. So it doesn't need to understand. Just click OK. And we need to move to the up because the first will be the pop OS, so it will be easily booted up. So let me choose here. You can see the up arrow icon here to move up. And just click up. And again, you need to create another one for Phoenix. and type will be the other and i have a configuration here uh, which will be in the description okay let me copy this and i'm gonna paste it here and you make sure this phoenix should match the root folder or uh, the root phoenix folder okay so mine is perfectly matching here yes and now click ok and make sure if it should be under the dummy because we don't need to put up every time in the pop os sorry phoenix os and click on save once it's saved uh, let me switch to my as you can see, I have switched to my phone. Let me stop the recording here and cancel. Let me restart. And you can see there is nothing which I have typed AF something we cannot, it cannot find the command and it's go and it let me choose do phoenix OS or pop OS I'll choose phoenix OS here you can see it's been initializing And now you can see we have to choose language which should be the English because we cannot understand. Click next, accept the agreement and click next. If you want you can create a name here, click finish. Once it's booted you can see uh, we have all these things just go to the right co uh, left corner and click it and scroll down or, or swipe here like this you can see the google play store click on it and you need to sign it and let me sign it you just click next here I'd like to think we have some form of control still Making our constant binary choices and voicing our equally shallow opinions more loudly or quietly. Most people can't even decide what color to wear or which burger to eat. What the does it matter, man? Autonomy is an illusion.
once you sign it, just Once you sign it, you just click on search and type PUBG. So not only PUBG, you can play any games here. I'm gonna install. can't even decide what color to wear or which burger to eat. What the f*** does it matter, man? Autonomy is an illusion. Install open. As you can see, I'm playing PUBG in my Linux PC. If you grant permission, as like same in uh, mobile. As you can see it's the same as PUBG mobile in a Linux system. It's way more faster, it's way more clear, it's way more graphical than Windows. So this is it guys. Thank you very much for watching.